talking about proc summary okay so you must be wondering this is something which we have already covered right so today we're going to talk about type column which we get in proc summary like i said proc summary is something which we have already covered if you are someone who has not seen this particular video who has not watched this particular video yet you are missing something just go to this learn area channel and in the search box type proc summary and hit enter you will get this video just check this out and then come back over here to understand it further in this video for example we are going to use this particular data now what this data is this is nothing but the subset of car which we have filtered on origin variable and i have just re renamed this type column as category now i will take you to the sas window over here like you can see here i am using the sas help library and cars data out of that particular library i am filtering it on origin and the origin which i am filtering is asia renaming the column type as category this is done we are done with creating the cars subset okay now what i'll do is i'll create a summary report for this particular data simple summary one okay proc summary and data equals to cars and in class variable what i am going to use is category in class statement i'm going to use category variable and in var statement i'm going to just use msrp i want to have analysis on basis on msrp variable i mean for msrp variable rather i can say and i would output this thing in testing table i'll just create a dummy table in the output i want to have only one statistic which is maximum and i will rename this i want to produce maximum of msrp in maximum column i'm creating a column in which i want to produce this result all right and now what i'll do is i'll just print this particular output which is proc print data equals to testing and then just run it okay i just hope that this spelling is correct okay now once we are done with this what we're gonna do is just execute this particular thing so when you execute this what you see is zero and one in type column so zero indicates that this is the maximum msrp in whole supplied data one indicates that it is categorized on the first summarize first given value it is summarized basis on the first given variable okay so in category was the only variable which we supplied to summarize the data on now let me just increase some columns in class statement what is it next i am going to use make variable now you're gonna see many var values in type column so if you focus over here here in type column you have zero you have one you have two and not only this you have three as well now let me explain you all about this thing so in this particular output you have three types of values four types of values zero one two and three i will explain it to you so this was the syntax and this is the output which we got before i explain you about the output let me uh, give let me tell you to understand this thing it is important that first we give a rank to these variables so we will start from right because this is how the sas works so whatever var variables you have supplied in class statement sas gives ranking one to the extreme right variable then two to the variable which is next to it and so on so category variable will be number one variable make will be number two now come back to this output over here you see first value is zero then one then two and then three let's understand this like i said zero is something which is giving you the summary on whole data that means if you see a ms maximum msrp value of eighty nine thousand seven hundred sixty five dollar that means this is the maximum msrp on whole supplied data in whole supplied data now if you see it type value is one so this is nothing but it is indicating to category it's summarizing the data basis on category so in category this particular variable right so in category you have hybrid so for hybrid how many 
rows are there three rows are there and what is the maximum msrp in all those three this is this let's jump to the second one the second one which is two the value is two this is nothing but it is summarizing the data basis on second column which is make so remember we have to start from right not from the left okay when we are ranking this so this is the summary on make so if you see make is honda and for that total entries are 17 and then the maximum msrp is this now you must be thinking what this three is so this three is nothing but its combination of make and category means those two variables which we have supplied in class statement so basis on that for example here you can see here it says acura and sedan so if you see there are three make three entries for make acura right and for these three i mean in acura you have three separate categories which is suv sedan and support oh, sorry sports so acura suv there are three cars acura sedan there are three cars acura sports there are three cars and for sorry not three cars i mean for this acura suv you have one acura sedan you have five acura sports you have one and accordingly you have the maximum msrp as well so this is how the values populated in type column does the tagging for summarization okay now let me just explain you one more thing over here what i will do is this time i'm just going to include one more variable over here and that is nothing but drive train okay and i will just execute this particular thing now when you see the value in this particular thing what you see is five six even seven is there right so how is that so let's understand that so this is the syntax and this is the value populated in type column in the output let's understand this so here you see all these values in type type has value one two three four five six seven right so like i said ranking is done starting from right hand side right so the category will have ranking one so wherever you see type value one this is summary of category column then type two is summary of derived train sorry drive train then some type three is summary of for combination of these two variables combination of these two variables right then comes type four so type 4 is nothing but summary for make then comes type 5 so type 5 is combination of category and make then comes type 6 then type 6 is nothing but summary of drive train and then make then comes type 7 so it is the summary of all these three columns right so how is this working so this is working like this first it gives you the summary of this particular extreme right then the variable which is next to it then it is combining both of these two then you will get the summary for next variable to it and then it combines first one with the third one right then again it combines second one with the third one and then it combines all these three together right so this is how it combines the variable together and gives you the summary now i'll again take you to the sas window if you see over here like it's pretty apparent here zero this zero is telling you the overall information this one is the summary for category two is summary for drive train three is summary for combination of category and drive uh, sorry uh, drive train yes then four is the summary for make then 5 is the summary for this uh, category and this drive train sorry make not drive train then after that drive train and make and then what happens is 7 or combination of all these three right so i just hope that it was clear to you this is this is how proc summary provides you the tagging in type column right i will again reiterate over here first one is for category second one is for drive train then it's combination of these two then third 
third is the combination of these two then fourth one is for make then fifth is combination of category and make then sixth is combination of drive and make then seven is combination of all these three right so i just hope that things are clear to you usually what we do is we prefer to have the combination of all these three when we are pre preparing the proc summary report so after creating this proc summary output what you can do is you can put a filter on type column as well right so when using where you can simply say type equals to seven and then when you execute this particular thing what you're gonna have is this output so you see it's the summarization on basis on these three columns all these three columns so i just hope that it was clear to you basis on the request i received so many requests on this particular thing where people asked to cover the type statement type column and that's where i just thought of making this yes, particular video and i just hope that it was clear to you over here here you see many people uh, asked to make the video on this type thing so that's why i just created it so thank you very much for watching this video just drop your comment in the comment section how did you like this particular thing if you want me to cover something else just put that into the comment section uh, if i get many comments for one single thing i will again come up with another video all right thank you very much once again wish you very all